Hey tubers, how goes it? Welcome back to Conundrum Contingencies. My name is Garland Davis, aka Raging G. And uh, I wanted to do a video on uh, a survival video game. But uh, one of my new subscribers asked me to do a uh, video on gardening and SHTF. So I decided to accommodate her. So uh, since I decided to make a concession, let's get started but first I wanted to talk a little bit about heat exhaustion um, it's pretty hot out here today and as we're taking a look at my garden I can tell you there was an awful uh, tra tragedy up here in Maryland I'm not in Maryland I'm still in Florida but uh, a young football player lost his life and uh, you know that's how it goes he was a terrapin in uh, you know, I don't really care that much about the University of Maryland, but I went through a similar situation myself. But fortunately, I was able to rise to the occasion and come to the rescue. That stuff I was telling you guys in the other videos about me saving people and pulling people out of the trains and wrecks, it's true. You know, I'm a humanitarian and a, uh, a tiger cannot change his stripes. So anyway, I wasn't there at the football practice. I don't have the, all the details and I don't need to. I don't know if a young man... Uh, pushed himself beyond the limit, um, if they have some hazing, you know, this is speculatory. I don't know if the coaching staff was stupid like the coach on that new uh, antiperspirant deodorant commercial where he said nobody drinks, you know, nobody gets to drink water until this guy sweats. I hope it wasn't something as silly as that. But it's a tragedy, and my heart goes out to them and their family and God bless them and the uh, the strength and conditioning coach uh, stepped down so I guess he's a sacrificial lamb but uh, the details will come out and uh, maybe they'll be a little bit more prepared I, I, I think uh, you know after the play is over you should be able to run and get a drink of water whenever you want to so uh, anyway what happened I was in Kansas City and um, um, I was with this older woman, and I think her address was like 4317, and then there was a guy in the back named Terry, and he was a retired Army sergeant. He was an E6 when he got out, and uh, a couple of days before, I had helped him make some money, and um, we piggybacked the cable off of his cable, and then I noticed when I went in the backyard, I invited my girlfriend to the back, and I said, his screen door was open, so... Uh, I said, hey, Terry, he's sitting there looking at me like a zombie or something. And then uh, I said, hey, Terry, are you okay? And still nothing. So uh, I was like, okay. So I went over there and saw his mouth was open, so I uh, jimmied the screen door because it was one of those old-time locks with a little hook. And he still didn't speak to me. And then I felt his skin, and it was cold, and it was clammy. And he had stopped sweating. So I told my girlfriend, I said, he's fucked up. So I said, help me uh, undress him and get him to the tub. So I left him, I took off the dungarees and left him in the skibbies. For you non-military types, that means that uh, we took off all his clothes except for his uh, uh, fruit of the looms. And then we put him in the bathtub. This guy, he was like 60-something. And we filled it up with water, and then we dumped all his frozen meat and whatnot and all his ice cubes on top of him and then I had my girlfriend take a um, a cool washcloth and wipe his face and then um, we got some uh, semi cold water and I put a little dash of salt in there and uh, we got his uh, fluids back up and then uh, before we left we made sure he was cool and coherent because we never called an ambulance and then he uh, came back and then uh, we made sure he was comfortable that he had a nice you know snack to eat that wasn't too greasy and like a 44 ounce big gulp full of uh, like lemonade and he made it out of there now that story's got a happy ending because later on a few days later he got his car running and we went to Burger King and he asked me what I was gonna get and I got like the number one which was just a plain Whopper with uh, cheese uh, fries and a coke and he paid for it so I guess that was his way of paying me back so I guess his intention was uh, you know if I had known those were his intentions I probably would have got a double whopper with cheese extra cheese and bacon with extra tomato 
uh, extra large strawberry shake and onion ring because after all it did save the man's life and my uh, girlfriend agreed so um if your first aid is not up to spec folks I, now would be a time to brush up get a, a couple of dusty old books or some downloads get one out of yard sale or um you could go visit the prepared uh let me see what is it the patriot nurse visit the patriot nurse channel and i'm sure she'll help you brush up on it she might even have a seminar in a town coming near you so um so i mean first aid is important if you don't know what to do to treat um heat exhaustion or heat stroke um, it could come back and bite you in the butt, and that guy was obviously suffering from um, heat stroke because he had got to the point where he wasn't even perspiring or doing anything. So heat exhaustion was a lot more treatable because the guy would be a little bit more coherent. So now, my buddy wanted me to talk about gardening, so we got some squash, we got some kale coming up. Now these are spuds, this is potatoes. Um, the rule for potatoes is wait about 21 days three weeks after the green stuff on top dies and then you pull your potatoes up um, what I know about gardening can fit in a pamphlet but right now I have the luxury to learn and make mistakes in fact gardening kind of cost me a habitat uh, in Miami because I had a neighbor who would just come out and break my pots uh, on purpose and the law wouldn't do anything about it they said that uh, we can only help you secure what's right outside your windowsill so you know, I'm not crazy. I can stand before any judge on land. At the end of the day, his life is more valuable than my plants. You know, I can't uh, just kill somebody because they, uh, you know, dug up my cherries or they did this or they, they tore my tomato plant down. So I knew then it was about time to move. So we got avocados right here. I haven't had too much luck with avocados, but this plant looks pretty strong. We got various peppers. I can't even remember what that is. Um, more tomatoes. I think those are beefsteak. This is a lemon tree that I brought back from Miami and I grew it from seed. So I take a little pride in that because you got to peel off the... Uh, remember whenever you try to plant citrus, it's going to take some time. You got to peel off that uh, waterproof shell or you're, you're not going to get anything. That's why when you were a kid and you, you plant an orange seed, nothing comes up because they're waterproof. So that's the reason why. Uh, another pepper plant. This tomato plant died. I don't know why it did. Um, so let's see here. You've got to take your time when you plant your seeds. You need to uh, water them maybe half a cup of water per plant every other day for like the first week unless it's going to rain. Um, you don't want it so wet that your plants are uh, sitting in mud. That's oregano, obviously. I think this is supposed to be that lettuce of greens. I can't remember. Um, sometimes plants, you know, they need time and they don't come up in uh, three, four, seven, or even ten days. Sometimes the germination period is longer. I remember I went to Dollar Tree and I bought a I bought a box of those flowering seeds that come with the soil, and nothing came up in two weeks. So I got disgusted. And I just went out to the lawn, instead of just throwing it in the trash, I just sprinkled it on the edge of the lawn. And six months later, they were growing like wildflowers, which is actually what they were. So sometimes things take time. So I planted these the day before yesterday. Uh, I know one of these is spinach to be. I don't even bother labeling stuff anymore because, you know, this takes too much time. But I would encourage you to get the sticks and label everything so that you know what you have. Now, if you live in an apartment complex like I have, you need some kind of barrier because when a guy comes with a weed eater, he's going to take everything down unless you got some of these. Even if it's obvious that that's a tomato plant right there or it's obvious it's cucumbers, he'll eat all that stuff up. So, you know, get something like this and make it even more obvious. Okay. So let's go ahead and head to the back. And, uh... Make sure when you're out here on a hot day that you hydrate yourself. In Florida, you know, you can squeeze in two or three seasons. You can grow stuff all year long. But uh, it is important sometimes that you use uh, heirloom seeds. Heirloom seeds means these seeds are guaranteed and passed down kind of like uh, a dog's pedigree. Okay? So you know exactly what you're going to get. Um, 
when you get the other kind of seeds and you can order seeds online, the first batch might be what it looks like on the package and then the second batch you might get anything. Now I like to go to Dollar Tree and get most of my seeds but I do get some online and I do get some from Walmart. Now grapes are very difficult to grow from seed and I have tried. This is a grape plant that I got from Walmart about a year ago. It was blooming out of control and then the vine went between these two air conditioners and every leaf came off my plant. So I pulled it back and I, hell I might even re need to relocate it and then it came back to life. Okay. And see here, you got a little pepper plant on top that I grew from seed. Um, I don't know what this is, but the weeds are getting, that's a rainbow flower. Now here's a lonely little ear of corn, and the ants are working over, so I might not even get that one ear. Another pepper plant, and you know in an SHTF, she hit the fan WWROL situation, seeds could be a very viable commodity and worthy of trade. And just remember, Dollar Tree has seeds for four for a dollar. So no matter what you get in trade for a pack of seeds, you can't lose. I've got a whole warehouse of dollar store uh, seeds. Stuff some of them I haven't even opened. We got more pepper plants, more tomato plants. Now these are have to will have to be thinned out, and I've gotten pretty good. Just be gentle. Uh, dig around with your fingers, and then. Go all the way down to the root, and then when you replant, put a deep hole so that the root is not bent. And then you cover all that stuff up, give it a little water. Some people say don't uh, give a transplant water. I think that's bull. Give a transplant a little bit of water because the plant's going in shock. Why should it be thirsty and in shock? All right, so little sunshine, a little rain. Now, one of the reasons why... Um, Rainwater is better than tap water, and you can use tap water all day long. The reason why rainwater is superior is because it contains hydrogen peroxide, which is good for the plant and helps the plant build a stronger root system. Now, this is a clone of Miracle Grow. I haven't really found too much uh, difference in fertilizers. But I have found that Miracle Grow potting soil seems to be superior than Joe Blow's potting soil. Um, I remember I got some potting soil one time and it had a live uh, grub in it, which surprised me. Um, when you try to grow citrus and avocados, you might have to invest in a citrus spray like this one because when I brought that lemon tree back from uh, Miami, the leaves were yellow and I had to get this to bring it back because I thought the plant was going to die. Alright, so now briefly I'm going to show you how to uh, plant peppers. So here we go. Um, I've already filled this with uh, soil, potting soil, and uh, I put a few, I would say, one tablespoon of coffee grounds in there, you know, a uh, used spent coffee grounds. And uh, now I just have to add a couple of peppers. Uh, generally when you plant something, no matter what the size, plant like, unless it's like an ice cube uh, size, put three of them in there because Murphy's Law says if you put one in there, nothing's going to come up. If you put two in there, one's going to come up. If you put three, you might get three, but the funny thing is if you put six seeds in a small pot like that, they're going to all come up and you're going to have a hard time uh, thinning them out. So keep the uh, best and the strongest. Okay, so we got some... Uh, Spanish peppers from the dollar store. It says 99 cents, but they're actually four for a dollar. So I'm gonna try to fish three out, but I might get four. I might be lazy and just uh, spread them out so they won't, you know, run all over each other if, if you have, if you can. Uh, all right, that looks like one right there, one right there, one right there. That's three. I've already got some dirt behind the plant. Now when you mash them, don't mash them down like you're trying to destroy them. Imagine you're making, you're playing with Play-Doh or you're making a hamburger or something like that. Just give it a little push so the plants won't have to work so hard when they're trying to push back up toward the sun. You know, get them firm down in there. Make sure you can't see. A uh, third of a cup of water and you're good to go. 
All right. Now, uh, let's shuffle on back, and I'm going to uh, plant these cucumbers, and then we're going to call it a day. Give them a little water, call it a day. Now, I don't have any eggshells right now, so I'm just going to uh, put the camera down, give myself a drink of water. My water's right there. And then I'm going to uh, plant the cucumbers. Now, if this was a doomsday, apocalypse now, end of the world type situation, I would just read the instructions on the back. Because generally speaking, you know, if it's a big seed, like um, broccoli or something like that, or uh, cucumbers or pumpkin seeds, about a half inch down. For uh, smaller seeds like peppers and tomatoes, you know, maybe go a quarter inch. And then if it's really tiny seed, just barely come up with dirt, give them a little push. Some people use a pencil. I'm not really trying to work that hard. got our expert two dollars a bag a cubic foot of uh, soil apologize the angle's not what I had hoped it would be I figure the roots of the cucumber plant will dig under this here, under these rocks. If I'm wrong, it's just a hobby. It's not the end of the world. It's not a doomsday situation. This was, you know, if I was growing because I had to eat and I couldn't go to Walmart or save a lot, then uh, I would have to plant them out six feet and all that nonsense. But since I'm doing this for fun, I can pretty much do it the way I want to. So there's my coffee grounds. Like I said, I'll bring some eggshells later. We'll start covering stuff up. Like I said, when you water these, you don't want it, um, you know, you don't want mud. In fact, this dirt is already pretty moist. They probably sprout on their own. I, I've seen apple seeds sprout with no water added under a mattress one time. That was just an accident. All right, then a little water. Okay, and remember our uh, pepper plants to be. Look like about a half a cup. And I'll uh, get myself some water. And we'll call it good, guys. Does a plant and a body good? Now, let me see here. Like I said, there are plenty, you know, how-to books on gardening and stuff like that. Um, you can use bottled water to start a plant, but you don't want to use bottled water to water your plants on a regular tap water spirit because they're not going to have the peroxide, the minerals, you know, this water is stripped down and your plants will suffer for it, take my word for it. Or you can do research on your own. So, you know, I don't have 200 uh, tomatoes out here or peppers to show you, but I have had my share of success. So, again, you know, it's another feather in your cap if you learn how to garden. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Conundrum Contingencies. Uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Like I said earlier, if you don't believe, learn how to read. And, uh, you know, like Bugs Bunny used to say, use strategy. But if you don't prep, it's going to end in tragedy. So take it easy. God bless you and keep you. Stay busy. Stay up. And we out.